And we'll be doing that on Thursdays as well, so you guys are very comfortable with the basics on how to use the computer, as well as some typing and some keyboard stuff. There's a huge need for seniors to have uh, computer literacy, big, 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 in English. The computer class was a big jump for us. This is the new way of offering services. This little box right there. Okay. So I have to put the mouse Yeah, on? you gotta right click Whoop. with your mouse. Whoop. Bam, voila, excellent. So you're gonna, you're gonna go right here? Well, to look up things without bothering other people and information and um, what's on in Montreal. You know, seeing as the papers aren't so available anymore and don't cover it so much because most of it's on the internet. So there's two groups. There's the beginner group and there's the intermediate group. So for the beginner group, it's just the very basics, how to shut on, how to turn on the computer, um, how to use the mouse, how to right click, left click, how to highlight icons, just so they can feel comfortable navigating. And for the intermediate group, it's a little more advanced, so they learn to how to use um, search engines, they learn to compare which search engine to use, and again, using Skype, Facebook, and uh, other engines and tools like that. This is about helping certain individuals with needs, and it's really good for us as a, an organization to be able to fulfill them. So it, it's, it's worked out very well that way. And now we're looking at our, the future of programming uh, in the same way. So week three, we're gonna be taking photos, we're gonna learn how to add them onto the computer from the camera, maybe send them through an email so that your friends and family can see. Yeah, I'd like to get in touch. I've lost touch with all my family in England. So when my sister passed away, uh, I lost my contact with everybody. People move, people move on. So being able to use a computer and either Skype one of their friends or their family members kind of brings them closer to their family. And it also kind of creates a certain sense of independence because uh, one thing we do teach them is how to, for example, use Google Maps or how to plan your trip so they're, they're able, whether they're taking the bus, whether they're, they're driving, they can plan their trips and, and know exactly how long it's going to take them to get from point A to point B.